Hey there, this is Reef Man again. Returning with the Rotifers. This is how they come in. They came in that box. And they were all squashed together with the other ones. And this is how they come in in these cute little boxes. And this is what it looks like. These are the rotter first right here. And they're gonna go inside says to let them set in the water for a while so they could get used to the temperature in the bucket. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. One looks like they're going to go in the bucket. Oh, this is the tank. I got a pair of maroons over there, a pair of blacks, my uh, little 30 gallon frack tank, or whatever was left of the floor. We got that uh, summer, that hot summer. Where's my other one? Maybe there goes the little baby tank. Okay, getting back to the rider first. You let them sit in the water until the temperature inside the bag is the same as the one in the outside of the bag. And you feed them this. RG complete. This is our rudder for food. You can feed them like twice a day. When you do feed them, this is how the water should look when you have it in the bucket. That green. Now, if you start to see your water getting clear, you add more food. Never let your water clear up. Do a 10, maybe like a 5% water change. I do it like maybe twice a week. And this is the color that the water should look when you have it in the bucket. Always. This is the water that you want. Not this, this clear stuff. You want it like that. Now, when you're going to feed your fish, you uh, either buy a strainer. Or you say uh, a coffee fill, uh, one of those coffee filters, and you filter the rotifers through that, and you feed them to your fish, or you can feed them to your corals, and the water, the salinity of the water should be. I'll let you know right now. See if you can read that. Receiving your rotifers and setting up your rotifer culture. There we go. Hope you people could read this. Uh, if you want, you could like freeze the video so you could be able to write it down. I try to go very slow. Let me go back. Like a line. Third line. Fourth and fifth. 
uh, go slow so you guys can read. Specific gravity, the salinity levels will be at 1.011 or 21.026 in between. The Robert, the Rutherfords would uh, adapt to that water. They tolerate that water. And you would make sure you have an air stove with a flow. With a mild flow, not a strong flow because you'll kill them. See, that's what I just did. Put the bag of cold Rutherfords into the Rutherford tank for 10 to 20 minutes to gradually warm to culturing temperature. That's what I have in the bucket. Cut the bag open to release the Rodifers into the tank. Add enough food, the RG Complete, that's the bottle I just showed you, to the water to maintain a light green, like I said, a light green color when viewed through a small sample vial. Adjust feed dose to maintain detectable green tint between feedings. Rutherford runs out of food, the culture growth ceases and takes several days to fully recover. Remember that as the population increases so will the feed requirement to build up the population rapidly. Do not harvest for two to three days if you provide good food growth conditions, you can then harvest a third of the culture. And that's what I want to do. Right now, I don't have any eggs, but it's good to have all my eggs from the uh, tomato clown. They died. So. so I hope everybody got this. I'll do it slow again so you guys can see it. There you go. So that's the uh, letter that they send you. If you have any questions, just note it down on the bottom and ask me any questions or whatever questions you want. Reefman46 signing out. Peace. In a few minutes, I'll just do a little short video of me opening up the bag of the router first and uh, letting them go inside the bucket. Adios, people. God bless.